Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about um, deleting keynotes, deleting keynote tags from the Revit model um, using Dynamo uh, plugin for Revit. Um, the keynote tags that I'm going to be deleting uh, are the tags that show up with question marks when you link, uh, when you have a linked model. So if I select this, it shows you real quickly it's a linked model. Um, so every time you you tag something with uh, with a keynote from the link model, I'm just gonna try this really quick. It'll it will throw up an error. You've probably seen this a thousand times. Um, so what happens is, is this error warning comes up, and it tells you that the files you're probably using in different keynote tables. It's not a big uh, a big problem so much when you have two link models that you're controlling, like. Um, like you know, two architectural models, and you can link them up to this, to the same keynote file. Then it's it's just fine. But if you have a consultant uh, coming in, and you link it in a structural model, or you link it in an MVP model, um, trying to tag something like that, um, it will produce an error. It will produce a warning, um, and it just slows down the Revit file. And it usually throws up a warning on the startup, which is just plain annoying. So. Uh, so what I was able to do is uh, is get in there uh, with the Dynamo plugin, and what I'm doing is actually filtering out all the keynote tags, and I'm looking for the keynotes that are tagging linked elements, and then within that I'm looking for keynotes uh, that don't have values assigned to them. So what that will do is it will it will filter out. Let's just pull this up really quick. Um, there you go. So I'm looking for for two things. Uh, first of all, that the uh, the one I'm tagging is not a linked element, and then if I'm actually tagging the linked element, if it's uh, one of my architectural models, then I'm totally fine with this because the value of uh, the keynote value, the, the parameter, is going to actually be filled in with something, most likely. And if not, then I can actually control it and fill it back in. So I'm basically targeting question mark keynotes that are tagged to link files. So this is what this, uh, this code is doing over here. Um, let's close it up really quickly, not safe, and I can uh, run it through for you really quick so you can see how it works. Um, so you can see a huge list over here. There's over 150 uh, tags. Uh, bear in mind that it's actually querying an entire Revit model. It's not just looking at an active view or anything like that. It's 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 a global sweep of all the keynote tags everywhere. So if I run this, I have roughly 150 of them. You feed that into the uh, delete link model keynote tags node that I'm um, posting on my blog. So you can you can find those two nodes on my blog uh, within the next few hours or so. I'm gonna have it posted. Um, so once you have those two hooked up together, um, this one's gonna either delete um, all the keynote tags, or if there is none, it'll just tell you that there was nothing else to delete. Um, so if you run it, it tells you that it successfully deleted all keynotes. There are a lot tagging elements in the link file, and you saw those two keynotes over here disappear. Um, and those were the two keynotes that were, uh, that were tagging uh, linked elements in. Um, so now also, if um, if I was to go into, where are my warnings? There you go. Uh, wrong button. If I was to look through the warning window, all these warnings are supposed to be gone. Yep, I don't see the warnings about the keynotes. Uh, just, to, just to show you what it was before, I'm just going to go back, so control Z or just hit the uh, undo arrow. Uh, so those two are still here and they most likely producing a warning. So let's go through and find it, it's right here. So you see a link, uh, whatever, and the current file is different keynote tables. So that's the that's the warning that we're getting when we have keynotes that are tagging elements in the, uh, in the linked file. And when you run this, Um, we'll actually have to refresh and then 
bang, I successfully deleted all of them. And they're gone from the model, the warnings are gone, the file is clean. Um, all you have to do right from now is keep your team educated on not tagging elements in a link file. Otherwise it produces warnings. But if they do, don't worry, it only takes a few seconds to clean it out. Um, so feel free to log into uh, to my blog at www.archi-net.net and uh, download that from a download page for Dynamo or follow me on Twitter at arc underscore laboratory. Um, thanks for listening and uh, watch out for the next video. Thank you.